This is the Solid Signal Podcast for the week of October 17th, 2016. And the subject for this week, a bit uncomfortable, as I know it's only October, but let's start talking about winterproofing. For many of us throughout the country, snow is a four-letter word. And even if you don't live in the snow, the winter can be a particularly stormy time, and it's time to start thinking about some of the things that you can do to protect your home entertainment system and experience from some of the more harsh winter experiences. You know, in past years when I've talked about winterproofing, I've talked about winterproofing your cables and your satellite dish, and that's still very valid stuff. But, you know, I talked about that before, making sure that everything is tight, nothing is corroded, and there's as little chance as possible for water to get into any of those connections. Because when water freezes, it expands, and those connections will break. But what I really want to talk about this time around is winterproofing your experience. And that's a little bit different, because... See, stuff is going to happen. Your dish is going to get covered with snow, and, you know, at one point or another, you're going to lose service. Possibly a tree is going to fall on the dish, which is a horrible thing, but look, it happens, or whatever. So how can you continue to be entertained, especially when you really desperately need that entertainment, locked in a home doing the best that you possibly can, not to go kind of stir-crazy? And let's assume for a minute that you've actually got power. Maybe you've got a generator, or maybe power hasn't been knocked out, which is great. And that also you have food and supplies and all that stuff. And we're not talking about that. We're talking about the next level, which is making sure your entertainment experience is still pretty good. And then you're not incredibly bored. To me, I think the best entertainment experience backup, if you will, is to make sure that you're an AT&T wireless customer and a DirecTV customer. Why? Because... AT&T wireless customers who combine their bills with DirecTV can stream DirecTV content for free without affecting data plan limits. There's a possibility that if you lose satellite, you could also lose internet at the same time. You know, again, cables get cut and dishes have problems. And, you know, but then again, cell towers do too. But if you have a serious backup, if you have a way of controlling all of those factors and doing so without extra cost, then you're actually in pretty good shape. You don't ever want to see any of those services to go down. And, you know, and the truth is very rarely they do. But when you're talking about a cell tower, cell towers are going to go down because they lose power and their batteries run out or because they get hit by a tree or or something like that or somebody driving along the side of the road crashes into them, something like that. But a cell tower, because it affects so many people, is much more likely to get restored than your personal home internet service. And that makes it more reliable in the long term. So if you're looking for streaming entertainment and there are some problems at home with your satellite dish or internet, you're still going to have access to a lot of that great DirecTV content by using the DirecTV app for smartphones and tablets. And you can even get an adapter for most smartphones and tablets that lets you hook it up to the TV. So you could even potentially have access to some of the stuff on your playlist. You may be able to get access to a lot of live TV channels. You know, it's just going to be a little bit easier to weather, no pun intended, that long period before you get dug out, try to make sure that you can get back to life as we know it. Now, that's just truth. That's the way that things work in the real world, especially up in the northern half of this country. And it kind of seems silly, I admit, to worry about entertainment when you should be worrying about things like, oh, making sure you don't freeze to death. And I get that. And this is really, as I keep saying, a very higher level kind of thing. And for those of us who are old enough to remember the days before the internet, maybe we could survive with books and just kind of clever contemplation and board games and some of the other things that we used to do. But also part of surviving, time spent waiting for uh, you get waiting for you to get dug out, uh, waiting for your driveway to get plowed or what have you, is making sure that you can survive dealing with your kids who do not have any of those experiences and whose uh, entire way of communicating with the world, entire way of passing time is based on devices. So making sure there's a good backup to make sure that they're constantly supplied with the stimulation they need is just smart for parents, not just for kids. Anyway, that's it for the Solid Signal podcast for this week. Have a great one.